On the bench today is a 70th anniversary Fender Ventura II Antigua Stratocaster. I do not know why I like the Antigua finish, but I do. I recently referred to it as the cilantro of guitar finishes, meaning you either love it or you hate it. The 70th anniversary Stratocaster arrived in the classic black Fender Tolex guitar case with orange interior. I'm really surprised and happy that a made in Mexico guitar came in in a case instead of a padded gig bag. There's lots of case candy that came with a guitar. First inspection of the overall fit and finish seems to be good. I approve. 70 years is an amazing length of time for a product to be produced with little changes. Actually, most of us prefer the guitar to be exactly as it was the first day it was made all the way back in 1954. After removing the guitar from the case and putting it on the bench, I plugged in my multimeter and got the following measurements on the three pickups. The neck pickup came in at 5.53 K ohms. The middle pickup measured at 5.86 K ohms and the bridge pickup measured 7.12 K ohms. Next, I put the guitar on the scale. The weight was seven pounds and 6.8 ounces or 3.368 kilograms. One observation before I start the rest of the video. When I first got it, I pulled the guitar from the case and tuned it up and played it for a few minutes as anyone would do when you get a new guitar. A point of observation, I could barely tune the high E string. It was difficult to actually make the tuner function. I'll look at it more closely later in the video. My first issue that I discovered came up when I was removing the strings. The string ferrule for the A string came off with the string. I've grown to expect this with lower end price guitars like Squire and Harley Benton. It's an easy fix. For made in Mexico and US made fenders, I kind of find it as being unacceptable. I pushed the ferrule back into the hole in the back of the guitar. It was very loose, but would not come back out surprisingly after reinserting it. Next, I checked the neck and frets. I found the ends to be smooth as I run my hands up and down the sides of the neck. I checked for fret rocking on all frets and found nothing at all. I then removed the pickguard to inspect the electronics and pickups. I had trouble removing the screw at the lower horn of the pickguard. It would just spin. I ended up pulling up on the pickguard so there'd be some pressure and I was finally able to remove the screw. I didn't show really in the video, but I ended up having to put a small piece of wood in so when I put the screw back in, it would have something to grip on. The electronics and pickups look good, except for what I can only describe as scotch tape being used to secure the wires of the pickups. I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's brittle and it's coming apart. I hope I'm wrong, but I've not seen clear tape ever being used to secure wires before in Fender products. When I restrung the guitar, I had no issues with the ferrules. I did, however, discover why I was having problems tuning the high E string. The tuner was actually bent. I wanted to finish the overview and play the recorded samples for the video, so I pulled a 70s style neck I had and I swapped out the tuners. Once I had changed the tuner, there was no more issues with tuning the guitar. So in conclusion, this is a very different video than I intended. I was so excited when the guitar showed up. I wanted to film the video right away. I have since contacted Fender Support and opened a support ticket. They asked me for pictures and a description of the problems. I don't think they were expecting someone to video record everything, so it was easy for me to take screenshots and send them a lot of detail. One part of me wants to send this guitar back and get a new one. I paid a lot of money for this guitar, much more than I traditionally do spend on a guitar since I started the channel. Another part of me just wants them to send me a replacement tuner and I keep the guitar. I'm used to guitars needing TLC. This is kind of my thing as I portray on the channel. I have grown to be a great advocate of the made in Mexico Fender guitars. My overall feeling is they are an incredible value when compared to the US made counterparts. I have a lot of them in my collection. Some of my favorite guitars. I hope this isn't an anomaly and not what we can expect from Fender when it comes to quality control.